These are the new Rollerblade Twister XT. I've heard horror stories about these and I've also heard a lot of good things about these. Hola YouTube, my name is Ricardo Lino and I'm a wheel addict. Today I'm going to skate these and by the end of this video you will know if this is something that you want or not. <laughs> Okay, so it is the next day and I got some opinions about the Twister XT. But to start this video, I think it's important that all of you know that these skates were sent to me by Rollerblade. They did not ask to see this video before any of you. They have not seen this video up until online and it's not going to change any of my opinions. So I'm going to start by addressing the first thing that I said in this video when I said that I heard nightmares about the Twister. So you may not know, but the Twister from Rollerblade, I believe that it's their longest skate in the line. It had a major change about five, six years ago when they first introduced the Twister Edge. So the Twister Edge was the first skate to have these mold where everything is like, the, the lines are very flat, it's very aggressive, you see like all these pointy lines here and I really really love it, it looks like really really futuristic. Now prior to that the Twister was completely different, they used a different model and a lot of people really loved it, that's when Rollerblade used to do the 80mm series, they used to send their old team or the urban skating team across the world, they made videos that got a lot of views, a lot of them got a lot of attention, a couple of videos over a million views. After that they introduced the Twister Edge and when the Twister Edge was first introduced that's when I first heard some horror stories about it and what I heard at first was that the skate was a bit low in the top or a bit hard. I never really knew because I never had the skate before but I heard of some people complaining about having pain on the top of their foot where this buckle is. I can say it right away in the beginning of this video and I'm going to talk of course a lot more about this skate. I had zero pain on the top of my foot with this skate. I also noticed that if I take the liner show you here. This part right here, it's extremely soft. Soft to the point that if I pull it too much, I, it kind of feels like I can actually um, rip it. Now I know that they made some changes to the mold and I believe that may have been one of the major changes they did and that may be one of the reasons why that part is so soft so I don't really feel the pressure in there and since I'm speaking about the comfort of this skate I should tell you that I got this skate in size 43-44 I'm usually a size 43 on some skates 42 on other skates I'm 274 275 millimeters length comfort wise this skate everything really really comfortable but 
a tiny bit too spacious for me. I've been skating like skates as small as I can, as uh, tight as I can to my feet. So I felt I had a little bit of space inside, but that's of course due to the size of my foot. In terms of comfort, I didn't felt any pressure point at all. I was able to have long sessions, no problem at all with my feet. Now, because I had a little bit too much space, I didn't felt lack of comfort, but I can't, I could feel, especially in this front part of the skate, that I could have a little bit of movement. In the heel, my heel was, in, was staying in place, not a problem. This 45 degrees trap in conjunction, of course, with, uh, with the top buckle and um, the cuff with these straight lines, it really felt like my foot was in place but the front part that's what i i think these laces were not able enough to pull my foot down there's nothing wrong with that i have also been skating a lot of carbon skates a lot of them have like a strap in the front to bring the foot down so it's not necessarily something wrong it's just something different from most of the skates that i have been skating um, what did I also felt about this skate? It felt extremely responsive. You may have seen me doing a lot of those slalom things. It was just fun. It was extremely fun to see how the skate would respond to every movement that I would do, especially because of the size of the frame. I would honestly love to see a bit of a longer frame when I have a boot this size, but I know that the 80 millimeters, four times 80 millimeters, making it usually a 243 millimeter frame, which is the case here, I believe. <laughs> Let me see. I don't want to say anything wrong, but usually it's always 243 millimeters when it when it has this spacing. This is how it feels. I, I skate a lot of the micro MT pluses, and well, it's. In terms of the length of the frame, it feels just like this. It is really cool, really responsive, especially because of this sole. You see this part here, the, the bottom of the skate, it's so stiff. Like you have an aluminum block in the front where, where the bolt from the frame goes into the boot and another aluminum block in the back. And these aluminum blocks, they, they have like a thick piece of plastic that gets them together and this really give this skate a lot of hardness especially on the bottom of your foot making you feel like you have a lot of control it's extremely responsive it's going to be really really fun to try these skates with other frames taller frames longer frames and i'm curious about it because with this space in front, I don't know exactly how it's going to be, but then again, it's really, really stiff on the bottom. It comes with this uh, slider here. I, I, I'm not the biggest fan of sliders, and I've said it before, like, I understand why they first, like, brands first started putting sliders on the skates. They first started doing it on skates that were, like, supposed to be almost like speed skates. They were carbon skates or they were plastic skates with leather around and they had to put plastic around in order to protect those letters or those fake letters. On a plastic boot, well, you won't scratch the boot here, but you end up scratching the boot in the front. But it's more of like a statement. This is an urban skate or this is a skate that can be used for this and that. So I understand why it's here and it doesn't do anything wrong for the skate. It, if it does something is that it gives you a little bit of a soul plate. So if you want to do some soul tricks, you have a little bit of a soul plate in the front because of this. So compared to most brands, this slider here at least will give you a dual purpose. But most of the people, or I would say like probably 99% of the people that would buy these skates will not buy these skates to do grinding. So if you saw like one slide in the intro of this video, this is not the common type of tricks that you would do with these skates, okay? In terms of comfort, really, really awesome. And I can show you the liner. The liner is something that I like a lot. Like this piece of plastic here in the front, it's like leather with a piece of plastic on the inside. And these, what this does is like when you tight the laces and when you tight the buckle makes the whole front piece, like because it's hard here, the whole front piece come against your shin. And I always say it like one of the most important things when we skate in order to keep the balance is to keep the shin against the tongue. So once again it improves the responsiveness 
of the skate having this hard piece here in the front so when you when you pressure against your thong you feel like the whole skate goes i think is really really well built the liner also have this front piece of of neoprene here which is really common on most skates that are dual size the front piece is, is neoprene what rollerblade did in order for you to get a better sizing imagine if you are a size 43 and you are using a 43 44 they, they, they include another insole on the skate i didn't use it and that's probably one of the reasons why i felt that space in the front that i said but i still didn't play enough with changing insoles which is something that i usually do on most my skates the insole that comes on this skate is actually quite cool huh? it's the same that comes on the rollerblade blank which is probably my favorite aggressive skates or at least top two of my aggressive skates on the market so it, these gray thing or this blue mint whatever color this is it's stiff so it gives some rigidness making it really supportive around your heel a lot of people think that they need to have a, a very soft insole in order to to get more comfort but in my opinion having something that really wraps around your heel works really good now i do need that soft piece usually that's what you get with with the shock absorber the shock absorber that comes on this skate i would have preferred to have something taller but that's me i've been skating a lot of different skates lately and the first thing that i felt when i jumped on these skates is like like i was falling backwards i'm not saying that they have the heel too low but i would prefer to have it higher that's basically it. And I would prefer to have a little bit of a thicker insole or at least something else for shock absorption. I don't do jumps as you saw in the introduction of this video, but having a little bit more shock absorption on this skate wouldn't damage it, if that makes sense. It would be actually a cool thing to have. As I was saying, you see that piece there? That's the aluminum block that you have in the front. The, the, the back then you have another one in the front i think you can see something else there right by my foot by my finger that little thing it's a net like a like a little metal net or something like that and what that does is that that's kind of like a a way for the air that comes from the front here you see these holes like these vents the air comes from there goes below your foot and it's supposed to exit here you can see that even the liner have these holes to work in conjunction with this old ventilation system i didn't felt like my foot was getting extremely hot so that means that it was working right so comfort wise really good in terms of performance i already said it about the boot how responsive it feels uh, I would need it to be a bit lower in the front, but again, I can play with having insoles to bring my foot higher. Now let's go down to the frame. This frame, look, it's a stock frame. You will have plenty of other options on the market. You will have the Endlesses, you will have all these different brands like Flying Eagle now came out with, with the new uh, frame that has like they have a four wheel rockering option a five wheel rockering option there's there's plenty of 165 frames on the market and i'm going to be trying some of those on these skates too but the skate the frame that comes on this skate it works really well i like it a lot it's it's short but it's responsive i didn't felt bending or anything like that it's a one-sided axle uh, type of frame so you put the axle on this side it's tightening on the frame so awesome in terms of wheels look there's no other 80 millimeter skate on the market that comes with these quality wheels this is the rollerblade hydrogen it's known for being one of the best if not the best 80 millimeter wheels yes it's black and usually the pigment to make the wheel this color makes it also a tiny bit weaker than if it was white or milky which is more of the color of the urethane i didn't felt i usually like i really like how the black wheels that come from this factory work they they give me like that that possibility of sliding under control like very few wheels on the market do it's it's the same compound or it's similar compound to the endless wheels that i really really love 
or at least the endless UC wheels. So I really love the wheels on these. They come with twin cam bearings, so amazing bearings. In terms of components, really, really good. Now, when you buy this skate, it comes with three pairs of laces. It's insane. I've never seen a skate that comes with three laces in the same box, but it comes with the short black laces that end here. Then if you want to integrate the laces with a liner, it also comes with an extra set of black laces, which is what I'm using here. And also in the box, you'll also find some long laces in these yellow that you have some details on the skate. So you'll have some yellow details on the frame, yellow details on the, the wheel saying hydrogen. You will have here also like a little piece of the, the buckle in the same color and then you can put the laces. So overall, I think it's a really nice skate. Now it does cost 340 euros or 340 dollars depending where on where you are and there are other options on the market for sure there are cheaper options there are also more expensive options but here you're paying for rollerblade quality and, and rollerblade is known for having amazing quality products as i said the components on these skates i don't think there's anything else out there every single part of this skate you will be able to find it there are some things that I would like to see different and one of them would be right away this buckle it's plastic having a plastic buckle doesn't necessarily mean that it doesn't do the job but for sure having an aluminum buckle would make it last longer it allows you to change here so it comes with these two little Phillips screws that you can just change now the receptor you cannot really change say the same because the receptor it doesn't come with a bolt it's just riveted I would have prefer if the whole buckle system would have screws instead of the receptor having this rivet but other than that dude super high quality amazingly good looking and if you don't like the look of this skate there's also another option which is the XTLE LE for limited edition and is a it is like a iridescent iridescent maybe I'm saying something wrong gray so basically it's a type of gray that depending on how you look at it will have a different shade it looks really really cool there's also like a a female version I think it's the XT woman or something like that it's it's cool and rollerblade keeps on doing different colorways of their skates like they did with the twister edge I I like it I started the video by saying I heard some horror stories I don't think those horror stories will still be a thing with the changes that rollerblade did on this skate now the good things it's something that i've been hearing more and more especially about the the stiffness of the sole and how responsive the skate is so very happy with this and very excited to try these skates with other frames and that is about it if you have any questions or if there if you have these skates and you find any problem with these skates please let me know i will be skating these more i will be trying other frames i'll make a video of me skating with these boots on other frames and if you have any problems with this boot or with this skate and if you address them in the comments i will for sure be reading them and i'm going to be looking for those things and address them on my next video so with that being said thank you so so very much for watching this video i hope you enjoy it if you enjoy it don't forget to subscribe. You can always become a patron if you want to support what I do here. The link is also in the description. And yeah, like I always say, just don't forget why we all started skating. And that, that is because it's fun. Now, cheers and see you soon.